All right. All right, we are EPG. We are here at AFK Elixirs and Eatery in Renton, Washington. We do a stream every single week on Thursdays, but this week it's the monthly, so we are broadcasting monthly. from here. From the AFK. That's right, and next week, um, is next week Smash 4 week or Melee week? Uh, next week will be Smash 4 and Project M at the EPG Training House. All right, every single week, EPG has got Project M, so if that game is your jam, come on down. And if Smash 4 is your jam, come on down every other week. Yep. Someday I hope that uh, Smash 4 will get its own monthly here as well. That's the eventual goal. Um, you know, we do eventually want to get all three games in. It's just a matter of time and venue, so. All right. All right. We've got another winner semis here with uh, Game Collect Silent Wolf versus EPG Zone Hungry Head Crab. We've seen this match uh, before. <laughs> yes, we have. And it's been pretty brutal. But I believe, I believe in Head Crab. Head Crab does pull it out sometimes. He does. He just needs to pull it out uh, twice, twice in a <laughs> exactly. row. Exactly. That's always the challenge, isn't it? Yep. Oh! But gets, getting the, that. gets the Eddie edge guard right there. The reverse up air. Send Fox down at that weak angle. Why would he just first on a lot? And then he destroys, yep. <laughs> All right, I see you, Silent Wolf. I noticed that sometimes if he's behind, he starts to take the run and gun approach. He starts to yep. bust out the lasers. No, definitely when we were watching Melee today, he he would only do that once he was behind yeah. on the four stock. Right. <laughs> Begin the run and gun situation. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, just too his aggressive technical pressure the entire game. <laughs> Laser in general is going to be a good tool against Ganondorf, but Ganon does have uh, the cape to reflect some of the lasers, but he's not going to have enough. So, but Silent Wolf's often to play close this match. All right. Oh, no. Ooh. I have confidence he'll make it back. He does with the sweet spot. See, there we go again. Tacking on that percent. Every little percent counts, especially against the fatty like Ganondorf. <gasps> oh! Oh, uh, the GameStop trade, as they call them. So you don't get what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's an old... Old school term, apparently. Oh, quickly evens it. Quickly evens it up, though, in terms of yes, stocks. It does. We are. Brandon's <laughs> definitely keeping up, though. So. Yes, he is. All he has to do is uh, pretty much get Silent Wolf off the stage, and even at early percents, Ganondorf can just dis oh. oh, those shines. Yeah. Almost got a wave shine off the edge. Yeah, sad thing about this matchup is Ganondorf's going to have to approach. Mm -hmm. Luckily, though, Ganon trades pretty well with Fox. He does, and Brandon with the pan panic down B. I know when Ganondorf's are behind, when they're stressed at a certain distance, they're going to go for the Definitely panic go for down the, B. The panic down B, yeah. Yep. All right. Oh. All right. All right, Brandon, what you going to do? Needs to clean up this stock quick. Yeah, he needs to take this stock quick. Fox is at that percent right now. All right, what's this he gonna do? Could, oh, oh no! Didn't get the follow. No, that was crucial. You can't let Fox reset back to neutral, especially if you're Ganondorf, where you rely on punishes. Right. Uh. Yeah, I'll swap after this game. All right. All right, what's gonna happen here? Oh, oh. shine! And there you go. There it is. Clean it up. All right. Yeah. So we'll go again shortly. Got EPG's right. McGod joining me on the mic. How you doing? I'm horrible. I hit everything. No, I'm just kidding. I'm doing fantastic. It's been a good bracket so far. I've had some good games. It's been a good day. But uh, going right back into it, game two. Uh, you know, Headcrab did pretty well last game. You know, he's had worse yeah, he games did. against Auto. Absolutely. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's tough for Ganondorf. Uh, yeah. I would oh, say oh, no. there are a lot of differences between this and Melee. Absolutely, Ganondorf is significantly better. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the same idea is still there in this matchup. Like, right. Fox still doesn't have to dedicate to anything yeah. for a long just, time. Fox can just pretty much react. He, Ganondorf has to be the one approaching mainly because, look, uh, Silent Wolf, um, as I was saying earlier... Oh, the Tipman! Oh, when he gets behind, he starts to go for the run and gun, starts to go for the laser, but he's often to take Headcrab up close so far. 
Yeah, it feels like he wants to just smother all of his options. I don't know how well it's going this game in particular. Uh, it worked out uh, last game in the long run, just the aggressive yeah. going in. All right. So you're going to oh, do. Head grab might be able to. Oh, oh the spikes. Auto. auto hitting the ground. Quickly trying to take that stock back. I love Texco. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Every time a fox says anything crisply, I'm just like, man. Crisply. Crisply. <laughs> what a great word. Chris believably. Chris believable. Boom. That might be <laughs> my new handle. There you go. Yeah, join me in 64. Ganondorf's forward air looking like a sword out there with that disjoint. Yeah, Ganondorf has a sword. He doesn't need it with that long arm. That delay Shine turned around back air, but it was delayed because he was waiting for Ganondorf to fall a little bit more. That was cool. Yep. Spacing those nares. Oh, wow, panic down B, yeah. Definitely panic. interesting. Oh, the forward air, though. Definitely clearing the ledge. Yeah. Nice ledge dashes from uh, Head Crab. Oh. His, his ledge movement is very, very nice. Very crisp in general. Oh, yeah. And when he's coming back from recovery in general as well, that forward air, as you mm. saw earlier. I think that spot dodge might have been a missed back air wave win, but I'm not sure. Oh. He probably would have air dodged if he missed that, actually. All right, I guess uh, Otto likes to go for the <laughs> jumping side beast. It's this jam, you might say. Oh, there we go. Wow, yeah. yeah. It's just such a hard situation for Ganondorf. Yep. Uh, and you can count pretty reliably on Otto to get that shine. Yep, Silent Wolf might run away with this game unless Brandon does something very quick. He's just staying right outside. Right outside anything Ganon can do. Right outside. There he goes. Oh, oh. Oh. That was definitely inside, but uh, he didn't care. Otto has the confidence. He, he can go inside he whenever cared. he wants. He never cared. He doesn't care. He's just going in. All right. What's going to happen here? Oh, no. Just waited. It's like wave shine, chill. Oh, wow. Wave shine to chill. Definitely a true combo. Oh, sideways. He was he was trying to go for the infinite there, but... Oh, the wave land. Back air, wave land, forward tilt. So good. Okay, this is crucial. He needs to make it back. He does not. Duo. Silent Wolf tags in with a back air. Duo and a handshake. Duo and a handshake. Or a hand fist shake. bump. I didn't see which option they chose. But... Typically, Otto goes for a fist bump. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I always go for a handshake. I like the handshake at the end of sets. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah I'll, uh, we're both signing off commentary. Going to go play some tournament matches. Having a good time here.